Hi, I'm Nick Moke, staff writer for DigitalTrends.com. As you've probably already heard, it's time for yet another new version of Windows. Now, if it seems like you just went through the last round of Windows upgrades, it's because you did. Microsoft released Vista only a little over two years ago, but after a failing battle to shake off its well-deserved reputation as a resource hog, the company has emerged with Windows 7 to turn things around on the performance front and add new features at the same time. Will it be able to pull it off and justify your hard-earned dollars for a copy? Let's find out! At first glance, it may appear that not much has changed from Vista, but if you look closely, the taskbar has morphed significantly. Programs now appear as large, square icons rather than long rectangular strips. Like previous taskbars, programs appear here when you open them, but you can also pin icons onto the bar to always have them at the ready, similar to the dock in Apple OS X. Hovering over an icon fills in all the missing details. Though the window skins look familiar, Windows 7 offers a lot more customization than Vista. You can mix and match all the usual components, like screensavers and backgrounds, but you can also pick the exact color of a theme from a palette and control how transparent or opaque it looks. These little visual tweaks are nice, but Vista looked pretty too. The real test came when we measured performance. When we raced Windows Vista and Windows 7 booting on the same computer, Windows 7 beat its predecessor by a full 20 seconds. That may not sound like much, but it's a world of improvement when you're staring at a loading screen. The HP Firebird we tested on was always pretty competent with games, but after updating to Windows 7, it got even better. Moto GP08 and Crisis both went from stuttery to smooth at the same system settings that really used to slow them down under Vista. To see whether Windows 7 was really less of a glutton than Vista, we installed it on this ancient Dell laptop from 2003 that doesn't even meet system requirements. Although it boots up slower than with Windows XP installed, it performs adequately for surfing, chat, and email, even on this relic of a laptop. Whether you're an XP holdout or just an unsatisfied Windows Vista user, it's time to upgrade. Windows 7 fixes most of the agitating problems associated with Windows Vista and takes it a few steps forward too. It's a great choice for anyone with a newer PC to upgrade to. I'm Nick Moke for Digital Trends.